Hello again, that's me just finished with day four of camp, third day of this in a row, which I'm really enjoying. Um, today was a bit more tiring, I'm not going to lie. Came in in the morning, had my seniors, who actually behaved really, really well. There wasn't any real reason for me being tired, I just, it was just one of those days. Um, you know, not so great, but you know, it is what it is. So I got really, really stressed for like no reason over... Uh, a JTX area, like I couldn't get it to like change the value in it. I couldn't get it to update what my seniors were doing for their calculator. It was just madness. Like I ended up like just trying to get away from it for a bit of time. <sighs> you know, could have been better today. I don't know what it was. Just wasn't wasn't feeling it today. So tried as hard as I could to try and make them enjoy it. But ah, you know, you never know. Everyone has those days. Um, so did that. You know, they actually behaved really, really well. Uh, I think they're starting to enjoy it a whole lot more as well, um, which I'm really liking. They still haven't really told me anything personal about themselves, which kind of sucks because it makes it so much easier for parent reports when you're like, oh, I know that they love piano and I also played piano. That was great. We could talk about that. But, and while I found that out with like two of my juniors, uh, I haven't found anything really about my seniors yet. You know, they've been still going through Java, they've been very, very active at trying to learn it, trying to understand what I'm teaching them, which is, you know, obviously exactly what you want. But then when it comes to parent reports, these are like the worst possible children because they're so good. Like, it sounds so, it sounds so bad, but like, the ones that stick in your mind are the ones who are like really personable or really crazy because, you know, you can talk about them to no end because they didn't do anything you asked them. Uh, so you like it sticks in your head a lot more or something I don't know so like I don't know I'm not really looking forward to parent reports or parent what they call parent uh, camper highlights this time um, I think they might be a little bit easier for my juniors rather than seniors but I'm just gonna see how that goes so that basically summarizes my morning uh, you know it was actually all right like whenever I think back on it like it really shouldn't have been as bad as it seemed at the time you know, they didn't do anything particularly wrong. They did, they tried to learn as much as they could, but, you know, it doesn't really help. But the mid-session will be nice and short, like take, you know, grand total of 10 seconds. Um, then the camper highlight will take a little bit longer because, you know, you've got to figure out more things and how you're going to word things and make them longer. I don't know. It'll, hopefully it'll all come together, but it's been a while since I've done them, so I'm expecting a lot of edits and like asking for a little bit more length. Um, so that's morning, afternoon, when it was lunchtime. Same again. <laughs> uh, there were a couple of Oreos left for morning snacks. Went and grabbed one of them, had my turkey sandwich, which was grand. Um, just sat out in the comfy chair with Heather in the hallway. Didn't really, <laughs> nothing really all that exciting. Um, Lisa was chilling about for a bit and then it turns out she was waiting for her camper in the bathroom who had ditched her so she was there for like five minutes and then she's like can you go ahead and like check and I was like yeah yeah no bar and I was like yeah you've been ditched there was no one in the bathroom um, so that was pretty funny uh, so I was like oh you know there's people coming and hanging out with me and Heather you know <laughs> no no they didn't care um, but everyone was envious of me in my chair so that was great uh, so I was talking to them, I was talking to Mez and Amanda for a little bit as well. They came up and talked to us for a wee while, which was quite nice. Uh, then, you know, went and grabbed my juniors, who actually didn't appear for ages, because, like, it took so long for everyone to get up from the cafeteria. Uh, and then because it was raining today, so, like, a lot of the cafeteria was being used, and then instead of people being outside, a lot more people were inside today, uh, which unfortunately meant a lot more hustle and bustle coming up. Um, so it took longer to sort of separate the juniors and seniors. It took a little bit longer for, you know, just everyone to get in. So you couldn't get your campers, you couldn't get to the classroom. I uh, couldn't get to teaching. Oh well. So, you know, it was okay. Like, it just took a while. I was worried that, like, all of mine had been taken by one of the other counsellors in the room. And then I would be standing there like Christian and be like, where's your kids? And I'd be like, yo, no, I had no idea. And then go to the room, they'd already be there. But then they all showed up, um, which was obviously ideal. Uh, went and grabbed them, went into the room. Uh, one of my sets of kids have pretty much finished their game. There's one thing I need to research tonight um, about how to sort of 
bring up another screen once like all of these other aspects have been completed. Uh, so that that's one thing. I, I want to research how to change a shape or how to get a shape. That's what I need to research, get a shape. Uh, so like in micro worlds, whenever it's doing it, it's that like you can set the shape as like one or two or something, which is like stored in the backpack. So it's in position one or position two, like an array. Um, so I want to find a way to get shape. So I want to find out which shape it's currently using. Um, which is kind of the main issue with the program at the minute. So once I get that done, hopefully their sort of main one that they've been working on will be completed. So they've started on a Minecraft trivia thing, so I just need to show them how to do questions and stuff, which is fine, because we've already done that, uh, like a trivia type one with, pardon me, my other juniors for a Pokemon one. So this one's going to be on Minecraft, so they've done a little bit of the art, and they were asking if they could, like, bring in, if they could, like, go on the internet to get pictures, and I was like, well, you know, we don't have internet, you know, you go home, you bring it in, that's 100% fine. Uh, so do that, then... Yeah, then my other juniors made, finished off, or no, they made a game of Pong with like a Pokeball, because they, they, they really love Pokemon, which I'm all for. Um, you know, so they made like a game of Pong, which is like, it's kind of, it's like one player Pong, so it, like it bounces off a wall, you're just trying to stop it bouncing off a wall. Um, and then you have like lives and stuff like that. Uh, so they did that, and... What did they finish on? I think they were just working on that basically all day, which was, you know, great. They were loving life. Then they, oh no, then they started doing some music. Uh, so one of them has asked if he can work with digital music to like, I think he was going to bring something from home, which he just needed to like get set up through digital music or something like that, uh, which I'm totally fine with if digital music are. But he was like, oh, I need to go ahead and do it in digital music. I was like, no, like you're in programming. You can't just jump between technologies like that. So hopefully that will get sorted properly. So I'm going to just introduce him to Bronwyn or Mike tomorrow uh, in the morning. And he can talk with them because I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea about the technical details. I have no idea about how it would work or anything. So get them, get that done, grand. Uh, so right now, I've been done with the day. Um, and about to head out to go and get some stuff for tomorrow. So we got told about a theme day, uh, which are always great fun, but I like I really, really enjoy them. But you know, when you get told the day before, oh yeah, it's an underwater theme. Um, you know, you can't even like order something from Amazon because it's already past like four o'clock or whatever for the next day delivery. Um, so like if we've been told on Wednesday, could have gone on and got something pretty cheap, whereas now it's a case of go out and get whatever you can. Um, so I really don't want to spend a whole lot on it. I really don't want to spend too much time like looking for it. So me and Amanda are going to go out. Uh, I don't even know where we're going to go. But it's also meaning I can't get to the gym today, which I'm kind of raging about. Because I was actually quite, I was really looking forward to that. Like, I haven't been to the gym properly in a good while. Like, I think I went just at the start of exam period. Um, so you know I've got all my running stuff. I went running, you know, once in the last week. Uh, if I don't, if we don't reorganize gym for tomorrow, 100% go out a run tomorrow after camp. Uh, get all that sort of done. You know, it's quite, it's all right. Like, cause it's so humid, like you sweat so much more. Um, which I'm assuming makes it better for you somehow. You know, a lot of people who run around here are like ten times fitter than the ones who run back home. So I'm just gonna go with that theory. You know, it's a good theory. Uh, <laughs> Uh, feeling good so far. Like aside from all these, these these bug bites, like there was one earlier, like I scratched my leg because like they're really really itchy, um, and then it just started bleeding like everywhere, which was just oh, it's just the worst. It was honestly so bad. So we were doing that during carpool, and then my leg was bleeding all over the joint, and I was just like trying to like wipe the blood away a little bit when also like it was getting everywhere in my hands. Uh, and I actually thought today, like even though I was quite tired and just sort of frazzled, like frazzled was the only word I can possibly use to describe it, even though I was those, uh, I felt it went quite well overall, but then we, like at our like daily meeting, uh, our boss was like, okay, I think it could have gone better today, and we were like, well, yeah, I suppose, but like it didn't go that badly, 
Yeah, I thought it was like a pretty decent day for like a day four. Um, you know, obviously when the kids are pushing your buttons all day, it can get a bit, you know, frustrating. But you know, you have to like we all we all be used to it, sort of. And if we aren't used to it by now, we'll get used to it. It's just kind of weird, you know. Um, like they were talking about a couple of people had to go home because they just weren't enjoying it. They just really didn't want to do athletics, which is you know fair enough. It's a tech camp. A lot of the people who come are, you know, here because they don't want to like go to like an away camp. They want to like learn about programming or about filmmaking or whatever. So I don't know. It just seems a bit weird. So yeah, either which way, basically gonna have to go get stuff t for tomorrow. Uh, for this underwater theme thing, which I'm just not excited about. Uh, excited to go going out shopping, um, not excited about no gym and about the short term notice, which kind of sucks. But you know, it should be good fun to hang out with Amanda. Uh, don't know if like we'll go out for food afterwards or, pardon me, like go round to hers, like see her family and stuff like that. Because um, that could be quite nice as well, you know. Her mum always has like really, really quirky wee things. Uh, like for food, pardon me, which like I've never heard of. Um, you know, so that would be good fun. So just gonna see what happens. Uh, get attacked by things right now, and that's a man just rolling up. So just gotten my stuff for tomorrow for the thing. Got a hat, a blue hat, and a couple of streamers, which I'm gonna stick on to pretend I'm a jellyfish. So I'm gonna show that tomorrow whenever I get dressed up, and it'll be good fun. So that's me back now for the evening. Uh, just about to start editing and stuff now. I'm just going to upload all these videos, see how much I actually have, because I don't know how much I really filmed today. Because um, I didn't like go for a walk or anything like that. I went out, you know, I was out and about with Amanda, and then I'll show what I make tomorrow um, for that. So I'll do all that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, came in checking up on the Brexit vote. So pretty worried Brexit are actually leading at the minute but they're still like most of the counties have to announce what they've voted uh, Inverclyde voted to stay uh, well done us so you know I think it's most of the sort of southern English ones have done their voting um, and I think they were all kind of voting to leave because of whatever reasons uh, so hopefully you know the rest of Scotland Ireland and Wales and stuff all vote to stay and, you know, there's just enough people in general who are wanting to stay in the EU. It's kind of scary, I'm not even going to lie, like, I, don't, I just don't see the point. Like, all these people that are like, oh no, we're better off alone, like, we're just not, though. Like, for, like, I voted to be independent with Scotland, but, you know, that was to get rid of England, and it's England who are the main problem in all of this, you know. Like, they, oh, I don't even know, I don't want to go into it, like, it's just so much controversy, and I just don't get it, like, everything's fine, like, you're like, oh, we're paying you all this money, but, you know, what difference does it make, like, you can't count the number of things that it could possibly help, you know, it's just kind of worrying, personally, so, you know, I'll wake up tomorrow, um, I'll check again, sort of before I go to bed, how the polls and stuff are looking. So it's literally is like twenty thousand votes or something, two hundred thousand votes at this point. So it's like fifty point one to forty nine point nine, you know. So it it could not be closer at the minute. So I'm just hoping that there's a big a big sway towards you know remain, or that it's you know close enough that you can't really vote to leave because if it is like. If it stays at like 50.1, you know, the majority of people, um, you know, technically said to leave. But there's still so many people who wanted to stay that, like, I don't know if you can actually make a vote for that. Because that was the problem with, you know, the Scottish referendum, which was, you know, if there literally is one vote over, is that enough to, you know, sort of sway the vote either which way? Because it's not like with, you know, the votes for Parliament or whatever, where, you know, it literally is, okay, one vote equals this, one vote equals this, one vote equals this. It's like, how much of a majority? So if there's like a 60-40 split, is that enough? If there's a whatever, whatever split, 
so I'm just hoping we pull it through, even if it's not 55%, like, that's enough to stay. And then, you know, hopefully, I just don't see the point, like, it's just kind of mad, and I don't know. So I know people who are voting both ways, I know people who are undecided, so I hope I hope people voted, though. So there was, like, a 70% turnout, but, like, they were predicting, like, 16.8 million needed to win. And I'm like, either which way. Um, which, you know, means, like, sort of 32, 34 million people uh, voted, which, you know, it's, like, half the population, which I guess is okay. But, like, whenever, like, there was the Scottish referendum, you know, we, like, Almost everyone, I think there was like 90% of Scotland that could vote, voted. Because, you know, it was, you know, a once in a lifetime thing. I think everyone kind of got that. So everyone was willing to, you know, go out and vote. Because, you know, it's what a lot of people wanted. And it's kind of cool because then the Scotland has become really politically important. Um, and everyone's getting really interested and really invested in it. Pardon me. Um... Which is, I think it's great, you know, people are actually getting involved in, you know, the politics, which is how it should be, rather than, you know, the people who actually care about voting, going and voting. Pardon me, and then the people who kind of need to vote, not going for it. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I voted what I voted, other people are always going to do the same. Everyone has their own reasoning, but... I just don't see anything wrong with what's going on. So anyway, that is me done with the day. Uh, really, really tired. Had you know, had a pretty good day. Talked to the band about some stuff about camp and that. Um. So yeah. From here, we're just gonna try and edit this quickly. Try and get it rendering. Get everything else done. Then, even if it's not done tonight, um, can start like uploading in the morning onto YouTube have that up and out and then that'll be good to go i'll have that up and out i'll have the other two videos and yeah should be fun so i will check in again tomorrow and catch you